23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. Turning now to the visit from the United States Surgeon General Jerome Adams. He spoke with community leaders about Kern County business education and ultimately the COVID-19 situation here. Adams toured Kern Medical's trauma and COVID-19 unit. He also visited the alternative care site on the Kern County Fairgrounds. Adams explained one of the reasons he wanted to visit Kern County. I also wanted to give the folks here hope because I know that there's a lot of fatigue. I know it feels like this has been going on for forever, uh, but honestly, we are, I think, uh, over the hump. I think we're over the hump because our positivity rates are coming down. I think we're over the hump because we're near a vaccine. Adams encourages the community to continue to socially distance, wear masks, and wash your hands so that the county can eventually reopen. If the person chooses to engage in that behavior on a consistent basis, there's, there are going to be consequences. And I judge people by what they do as opposed to what they say. And so if a person chooses to engage in this behavior time and time again, and that person has been given ample opportunity to change, and he or she chooses not to, then they have to accept the consequences. This week on Breaking the Cycle of Gang Violence podcast, we talked to Kern County Superior Court Judge Robert Tafoya. With more than 15 years on the bench and a former family law attorney, he's seen thousands of cases. Judge Tafoya explains the evolution he sees in offenders after seeing them in court multiple times and where he believes the focus needs to be to break the cycle. That full episode is available online at TurnTo23.com, on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire Stick. Temperatures on Monday, fairly warm despite all the haze in the sky. That haze a little bit thicker, the smoke a little bit thicker in Northern California. You can see Sacramento quite a bit cooler than Bakersfield in Fresno, thanks to a little bit more smoke up in the northern part of the Central Valley. For tomorrow, not really expecting too many changes in our weather. 95 for Bakersfield, 72, a little chillier there at Pine Mountain Club. 99 at Ridgecrest for tomorrow. As far as our air quality is concerned, I think it's going to be in the unhealthy range again, at least early in the day, maybe a little bit better into the afternoon, but still lots of smoke and haze to talk about at least through Wednesday. There is a chance we get some of that to clear out Thursday into Friday as our next system moves in. Temperatures falling then too and then we slowly warm up as we head into hazier weather Sunday and Monday. The rest of Kern County here we do see that same trend. We get a little bit more cloud cover Thursday into Friday and then back to the haze by the time we get to Sunday and Monday. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime be sure to log on to our website turn to 23.com.